Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ask Amber and today I'm going to show you how the Avatar 3.0 inventory system works. In other words, I'm going to show you how to toggle on and off items on your avatar with the new built-in 3.0 avatar system. Before we get started, I'd like to give a shout out to all of those of you who support me on Patreon. It really helps and goes a long way. If you haven't had a chance to check out my Patreon yet, this month's avatar is a spooky Halloween inspired zombie bride. So if you're interested in that, take a head on over to Patreon. And if you ever want to watch live, I do live streams twice a week, so head on over to Twitch and follow me there. And with that being said, let's get started. If you haven't had a chance to watch my video on how to create an anim file, you'll need to watch that before this episode because that is very integral to what we'll be doing here. Now, there's two different ways of toggling things on and off. You can either have the option where when you toggle one thing on, the other thing toggles off or you can set it up so that when you toggle one thing on, you can toggle another thing on at the same time and they're independent of each other. In this video, we're gonna go over how you toggle one thing on and the other thing off at the same time. So in this video, I'm going to have it set so that she can either wear pants or shorts. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure that my animation files are set up correctly. And as you can see, I have one here that says frilly shorts and I have one that says jeans. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is decide what I want my default to be. So I want her to default with the jeans on and then I want to be able to turn the shorts on and turn the jeans off at the same time. So what I'm going to want to do is create an avatar controller that I can edit animations on. And I'm just going to call it temporary because I don't want to add this to her permanently. And I'm going to add this to her controller. Then I'm going to make a duplicate of my avatar, hide the original, and in this avatar I'm going to go to animation and I'm going to create a new animation clip and I'm going to call this animation clip jeans off. I'm going to add a property, I'm going to toggle down jeans and I'm going to toggle is active and then I'm going to just uncheck this box right here so that the jeans are not active. Go back into my project and then I can go ahead and delete the duplicate, turn on the original, and now I have a jeans off animation. What I'm going to want to do is go into this animation. Next, I'm just going to drag this down so that it is in the second keyframe slot. I'm going to select this game object right here and I'm going to copy that. Control C, go back into my project, go onto my frilly shorts, which is going to be the second option that I have. And in my frilly shorts, I want to make sure that I paste this animation. So it should give you two keyframes in the correct spot. It should say your game object is active with a zero next to it, which means it's inactive. Then I'm going to go back into my project and I have my animation files already. I don't actually need this jeans off animation anymore, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete that. And I'm going to make sure that my my controller is set to none. Now that I have my jeans on and my frilly shorts on animations ready, I'm going to go ahead and start the animation process for this. I'm going to go into my 3.0 controllers that I have already made and if you don't have these controllers, go ahead and take a look at some of the other videos that I've made for Avatar 3.0. So today we're going to be focusing on the FX layer. So in the FX layer, I want to go into my parameters and because what we're changing is pants, I'm going to add a new parameter here, an integer. So INT, when you add the little plus button, click on INT and then call it pants. And remember exactly how you spelled it and how it looks because next we're going to go into our menus and we're going to go into our parameters that we've already set up and we're going to add the exact same spelling and everything of the parameter that we added into that layer. So I'm going to put pants into this layer. Then we can go back into our FX and we can go into layers and we're going to add a new layer here and this is going to be called pants. Now this doesn't have to be identical. It's just the parameter that needs to be identical. So this one can be whatever you want but I like to keep it simple and call it pants. Then you're going to click this little toggle wheel and you're going to change your weight on the top scale all the way up to one. Once that's done you're ready to add your animation files that you just made. So I'm going to put first the default one that I want. So I want jeans to be my default so I'm going to add my jeans. Then second I'm going to add my frilly shorts. Next, I'm going to right click on any state and click make transition and click it to jeans on and then do the same. Any state, right click, make transition to frilly shorts on. And it, when
when you click on the jeans on and the frilly shorts on, it already has your motion set up. You don't have to change those at all. I'm just gonna click on this arrow right here that leads from any state to jeans on, and we're gonna add a condition down here. So I'm gonna push plus, then I'm gonna select the drop down right here and go to pants, which should be in there because that's a parameter that you've already set up. I'm gonna change this to equals. So the condition is basically like this needs to happen in order for these to show. So I'm gonna leave my pants equals to zero because I want those to be default. And then we're going to click on the second arrow. I'm going to add a condition here. Again, I'm going to choose pants. I'm going to choose equals again, and then I'm going to put this as one. So basically when the button equals zero, it's going to show the jeans. And when the button equals one, it's going to show the frilly shorts. Now we just have to set it up in the menu. So let's go back to our menus and I'm going to click on my top level menu and I am going to add a sub menu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually duplicate my top level menu and you can duplicate in unity by pressing control D. Then I'm going to change this to clothing. Then I'm going to go to the clothing and I'm going to delete everything in that layer because it's just a duplicate of my top level. So I'm going to delete everything in there and I'm going to go back to my top level, add a control, call this clothing. You can add an icon and we're going to change this to sub menu as the type. We're going to leave the parameter empty and the sub menu right here, we're going to drag in our clothing menu right here. That's all you're going to do for the top menu. Then we're going to go into the clothing menu, which has nothing in it, and we're going to add a control. Once you've made that, you're going to change the type to toggle. And then for the parameter, you're going to choose pants. You're going to leave the value as one. And because jeans is going to be our base, we don't actually need to create a toggle for jeans. We're just going to create a toggle for shorts. So I'm going to have the shorts as my control. And now because we clicked on this arrow and we set the pants to equals one when we want to go to the shorts, once we go to the clothing menu, we need to make sure that the value is set to one and it matches what this arrow says so that when we click one, it goes to the frilly shorts on. And that's literally it. You can actually add as many things as you want in here and create more. So if I wanted another one, I would just create another item right here. So let's say I wanted to do leggings. I would add my leggings animation here, exactly the same as frilly shorts, set up a state, add a transition from any state to those leggings, and then click on that arrow and make sure that it says equals two. And then when I go into my clothing menu, I could add another control just like this one. And I would just make sure that the parameter is pants because we want all of the pants in the same section and put the value as two. Make sure that any additional animations that you add here also have the copy and pasted jeans off animation so that your jeans turn off with each and every one so that you don't have your default state on all the time. If you wanted her to start with nothing, let's say you have accessories and bracelets that you want to put on or necklaces, earrings, any of that kind of stuff, and you wanted her to have no accessories and then be able to add accessories first, make sure that your original one that you put in there, your original animation file is an off animation. So it's basically whatever is this orange one is going to be what your default is. And you're going to want to set that to an equals of zero. And then you can add anything and just remember that if you put it in this way, just like I explained in the beginning, it's going to be either or. So it's going to be jeans or your shorts or leggings or whatever else you decide to put in this parameter. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you can toggle things independently. And that's pretty much it. You'll have your menu all set up so that when you go into your clothing section, you'll actually be able to toggle between your jeans and your shorts from your menu and you can choose whichever one you want. So go ahead, have some fun with with this and be sure to let me know if you have used this technique or if you have any extra tips leave them in the comments below I'd love to hear from you all or if you want to show off some of the avatar 3.0 avatars that you've made feel free to join my discord server show it off to the whole community in the meantime have some fun with this practice I know you can do it thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video